Hey guys, Mr. O'Neill here. Um, we're going to start a new section and we're going to talk about shading and form and we're going to talk about viewpoint, eye level, horizon lines, things like that. That'll be some of our Wednesday words that are coming up. This is a video um, that you need to watch just to understand some of the upcoming assignments. And this is about your viewpoint where you're watching the video from right now. And then when you go to make drawings, you're gonna think about the viewpoint of the observer that's looking at your drawing. So we're gonna start out with a couple of basic shapes and we're going to move them around compared to where you're at. And I want you to watch what happens to the, to the shapes as far as what parts of the shape that you can see. Okay? So I'm going to start out with a very basic... I'm going to start out with a board right here. Okay? Now, you see on this wall back here... A blue line. I've put a piece of blue tape up and this represents two things. According to where I've placed the camera, which is you, which is your viewpoint, you are the camera, okay? You're, you're looking through the lens of the camera. According to where I've put the camera, your eye level or the camera lens is about right here where this blue line is, okay? Now, if I hold this board level and I put it where this blue line is, it's hard for you to see the top of this board or the bottom of this board because your eye level is right at the level of the board. Now, watch what happens when I, when I lift the board above your eye level and I keep it reasonably level. What side are you starting to see the higher I go? You're starting to see the bottom of the board. And if I take it down below eye level, and I try to hold it, hold it level with the floor, the lower I go, the more you're starting to see of the top of the board. Okay, this is true about any object. So, oh, one more thing. Notice, so this is proportional too. So the higher I go, the more of the bottom you see. And if the highest I can go as far as your point would be straight above you, and then you would see all of the bottom you know, the entire bottom. And the lower I go, the more you see of the top. Okay? So remember that. So when we're drawing things, when we're sketching things out and we want to show that they're up above or down below, we have to remember those things. We have to remember and think about how much of the top would I see? How much of the bottom would I see? Okay? So now I've got just a basic cylinder or a, like a can of soup. This is actually a can of paint, okay? And so if I hold that level and I hold it about eye level, you cannot see the top or the bottom. You can only see the side, okay? But the higher I go, again, just like the board, the more you can see of the bottom of the can. And the lower I go, the more you can see of the top of the can. Here's a bucket of paint. Okay, this is a little heavier. So eye level, can't see the top or the bottom. But if I put it down here, the farther down I go, the more of the top I can see. And the farther up I go, uh, the more of the bottom that I can see. Okay? And again, this is true about... This is true about any object here's a box okay this will be just this will behave just like the board if i have it down here under under the uh the eye level 
you can see the top. Okay, the lower I go, the more you can see the top. If I raise it up above eye level, the higher I go, the more you can see of the bottom. Okay, this is also true for left to right. Okay, if I go, if I go over here, let's see, you're right there. Okay, you start to see this side of the box. If I go over here, the farther I go, the more you can see of that side of the box. Here's a, uh, here's like a little wooden planter. Okay, look at, uh, hold it at eye level. You cannot see down into it. See, it's, it's empty. But if I hold it up here, you can't see into it because you can't see the top because it's above eye level. But if I put it down here, you can start to see into this planter. And if I put it up here again, you can't see what's in it, but you can start to see the bottom of it. Okay, so we're going to keep those in mind and we're going to do some, some basic drawings. We're not going to be super precise. We're not going to get out the straight edges and the rulers. We're not going to do perspective drawings yet as far as mechanical type drawings. We're going to practice sketching some of these objects according to where they are concerning the eye level. Okay, the eye level is also called the horizon line. The horizon line, if I were to get rid of this wall and be able to see outside, according to where you're sitting watching this film, from here up would be sky, and from here down would be land. Or if we were looking out onto the ocean, this would be the water. And this would be the sky. And if there were mountains, there might be mountains up here, but behind the mountains, or the mountains are actually sitting on the horizon, is right here. Okay? So just remember those terms. We're going to work on those terms, uh, some of those terms for Wednesday words. And, uh, and we're going to start doing some basic drawings. So... Good luck. Keep everything that I just showed you in mind. You'll be able to use it in the upcoming assignments.